Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Searcy. In this video, we want to start off by talking a little bit about what is public speaking. One definition, of course, would be that one person prepares and delivers a speech for a group, for an audience. That group typically listens without interrupting the speaker's flow of ideas. Now, when we're talking about public speaking in relation to courses that I teach, we are specifically looking at extemporaneous presentation. That means you're working from keywords that will help you trigger the ideas that you want to discuss, but at the same time, the speech is not memorized, practiced six to eight times so that you can choose the words for delivery at the time that the delivery takes place, based on those keywords and the audience in front of you. Culture is an integrated system of learned beliefs, values, attitudes, and behaviors that a group accepts and passes along from the older to the newer generations. In every culture, what is considered passable and exemplary public speaking, it changes. In some cultures, very wide and permissive and expressive gestures are considered professional and exquisitely masterful. In other cultures, people want you to be still so that they can focus on the words that are being chosen and expressed and not necessarily get distracted by hand gestures and other gestures during your presentation. In some cultures, vocal variety, where the rise of the voice or the quietness in anticipation of what is to come when you're giving your presentation is considered masterful. In other cultures, again, we're focused on the words and the words alone. In the United States, we're looking for gestures and we're looking for vocal variety. The cultural approach increases an understanding of the cultural approach and what the culture is relative to public speaking and what is considered a masterful and skillful in public speaking per culture allows you to be what we might say rhetorically sensitive. Because one is rhetorically sensitive who can adapt to diverse social situations and perform reasonably well by getting a message and communicating a message to that group of individual based on the channel and based on how that group is better ready and, be and most receptive to receive the message. So when we talk about public speaking affecting culture, we have to think about the fact that public speakers transmit cultural resources through their actions and through their speech. By doing so, we reinforce existing cultural elements. And we also become transformative instruments in society. See, that's the beautiful part about public speaking. To be able to speak your dreams into existence and affect change. No matter the culture, the ideas that we come up with, if expressed well, can move people to change and to action. So, there are many benefits to studying public speaking and rhetoric. Culture affects public speaking, and of course public speaking affects culture. One of the things we want to pay attention to, is, for example, is the transactional model of communication, understanding that simultaneously when I send a message to you, I'm getting messages and feedback in return. I'm able to respond and adjust extemporaneous public speaking requires that alone. Based on my audience interaction, I can change what I'm saying and how I'm saying it on the fly. So the transactional model of communication emphasizes both that the originator of the message and the receiver must cooperate and negotiate meaning. What does what I'm doing, what I'm saying, mean to you? And how does what you're reacting, how you're reacting, mean to me? What is public speaking? When someone gets up to give a presentation and their ideas are not interrupted and the flow comes from that person as they're able to express to an uninterrupted audience where the audience is able to 
focus, provide feedback, nonverbal mostly, and receive those messages. Something to pay attention to. What is public speaking? What is culture? And how do they interact? I'm Dr. Mike Searcy. Just wanted to give you a couple of thoughts on that and communication as we go forward in this course. See you in the next video.